It's the biggest, sassiest and trendiest entertainment news analysis program coming to you live from Lagos, Nigeria. This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa where we discuss relevant entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin and as usual, I'm never here alone. I'm here with Ewa Ritu and Ife Oluwa Oshoka here. It's good people. How are you wow. doing? Great, great. Great weekend. Restful. Mine was awesome. Mine like, was awesome, awesome too. And but it was really restful. I'll mm. keep it to myself. <laughs> anyway, um, first up for conversation has to be the biggest story in the world of entertainment. As Tyler Perry has unveiled his $250 million Atlanta studio. It is the only major film studio in the nation owned by an African-American. Um, in attendance were a list of celebrities like Oprah Winfrey, Viola Davis, Eva DuVernay, Tiffany Haddish, Samuel L. Jackson, Jay-Z, Beyonce, Halle Berry, Whoopi Goldberg. I mean, anybody that is somebody in the entertainment industry and pushing the black movement was in attendance. Guests were given a tour of the 330-acre studio and each of the 12 sound stages all named after iconic African-American legends in the industry, um, such as Cicely Tyson, Sidney Poitier, Harry Belafonte, um, Oprah Winfrey, Whoopi Goldberg, Will Smith, Halle Berry, Denzel Washington, Spike Lee, Ruby Dee, I mean, name them all. I mean, he just named the whole sound stage um, by them and it's just awesome like i think i'm still yet to get over the studio so <laughs> i i was able to see the video on eva's story and it was just i don't know that's a town it's awesome. it's a town right it's a whole country on mm -hmm, its own mm -hmm. I like this black excellence mm -hmm. and i'm so proud of tyler you know so many people have tried to like put down what he does, like they are not interested or mm -hmm. it doesn't make sense. Like he doesn't do good movies. Exactly, but that. I feel he but knows he what he winning. wants. Mm -hmm. He knows what he wants and he's going for it. And I, I appreciate that he never tries to fit in. He, he's, the dream is clear, mm. the vision is clear. Mm -hmm. So he knows what he's doing and he doesn't care about what anybody's saying to try to bring him down. I think that's why he stays winning because he, he, he's doing what he's supposed to do. You know, people have purpose and I think if he was able to find his purpose, and mm -hmm. that's, what, that's why he's achieving all this. I'm so proud of him. Yeah, so, um, like you said, I'm very proud of Tyler Perry. Because um, you remember when he saw the signposts mm -hmm. leading mm -hmm. to his studio, and he said it was in tears, and he shared the story that I used to leave in a scar mm -hmm. 25 mm -hmm. years ago, and now he's, he owns the only black-owned studio in America. I think that's just the American dream. Mm -hmm. I rather put it that way. Yeah, I think <laughs> it's just the American dream. So, um, big shout out to Tyler. And like you said, he keeps winning. And I don't know where, well, um, which people put him down. No, I love all his movies. No, oh, no, 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 no yeah, yeah, really. Oh yeah, no wonder he was saying that a lot of people still don't understand the um, semantics around his mm. movies and all that. So, but. Um, I love his movies. I always watch a Tyler Perry movie yeah, any day, I any time. Always watch his Even movies. the old ones, I still watch them. Yeah, I love mm -hmm. his movies because it seems like there's a deliberate attempt to create conversations, mm -hmm. and that's one thing I admire. I mean, and there's always something to learn. Learn, yeah. 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 There's a take-home mm -hmm. lesson in all his movies. I also yeah. like that he, of course, he acknowledged Oprah Winfrey. He said um, she's his um, biggest inspiration. She invited. Yeah, him. like best friend. Yeah, she invited <laughs> him to one of the biggest gadgets ever, and he was wondering, what am I doing here? Am I mm -hmm. To be here. And I think that was where the whole dream became clear mm. for him. I mean, Will Smith's speech was another interesting one where mm. he was talking about people around him showing up and doing their job. I think every one of us can pick up something from that. Mm. And I mean, it's, it was just an emotional time. And I like that he holds on to God all the yeah. way mm. long. Like he doesn't joke with his um, spiritual sure. life or letting you know that this is all about God. It's not just about me. So. Tanaparu, I think I found my mentor finally. <laughs> and right. like, I think um, in, one, in an interview before the opening, he mm -hmm. said what inspired him to open this studio was when he was very much younger. His mm -hmm. father used to um, be a constructor mm -hmm. for um, white people, and mm -hmm. then they would pay him, I think, $8,000 to construct a building, and they would sell it for $80,000 wow. thereabout. Mm -hmm. So he said since then he has been determined that he does not want to be the constructor. Mm -hmm. He wants to be the one to own the house mm. and sell the house so it will make more money. Mm. I mean, he's an inspiration. Mm. American dream, like I said. Yeah. yeah. All right, moving on from that very exciting story to another exciting story. Sakodi emerges first winner of BET's Best International Flow Act at this year's BET Hip Hop Award. Um, he dedicated the award to his daughter. 
He, people are saying he beats Faust. He did not only beat Faust, he beats Nasty C. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why Faust is he the beats headline. Everybody in that right? category. I think um, Faust is in the headline because when the news broke about the nominations, people were saying that, um, you remember the Ghanaian mm -hmm. um, I can't guy. remember his name, but yeah, yeah I that said um, Faust shouldn't even be in the same mm -hmm. category with Sako. So I hope they're happy now. Ghanaians, you can rest. Mm -hmm. Yes, <laughs> finally. Yeah, well, I'm happy it's still coming home, Africa, right? Mm -hmm. So it's still a win-win yeah. thing for mm -hmm. us. That's, yeah, that's yeah, I mean, I love Sakodi, right? Yeah, yeah, I do. So I'm happy they for him. But his speech is the one I don't understand. Each other, but right? We're always I think happy we are them. just happy when Africans win. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's the most important thing to Nigerians. I don't think we're more concerned about whether it was a Faust that won it or... Mm -hmm. But for, for them to spin it off um, with Joseph Faust, it means it, they're acknowledging how big Faust is. Because if if you cared so much about Nasty C, why didn't you say Sakodi mm. uh, beats Nasty C? Why is it Faust that you claim they're not supposed to be in the same category that you people are making noise about and being so awesome that he beats him, right? But please. probably been a protest if I was one. Right? <laughs> <laughs> As in Ghanaians, we eat the street. We're not going to we're, like, uh, we're, we're not going to let that happen. But thank God there is peace now. I mean, they have peace, it. So. We have it, African. We yeah. have it. We, Proud we, of Sakodje. We've, we've gotten numerous BET awards in Nigeria, so mm. it's not so, so he can't yeah, take this yeah, <laughs> But he deserves it. He absolutely deserves yeah. it. It's time for a quick break, but when we return, we have more stories to talk about. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I decide every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to dollar, everybody feeling all right. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself minimal are you? Mm. Apala music is for mature minded people. That got DM sometimes from Malawi like Woo! <laughs> sleeping early. Sleeping early. <laughs> Hello and welcome back. This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. So, Messi Images, winner of 2019 Big Brother Niger show. Okay, maybe I should rephrase it and say it's a well, Lamborghini Messi. Right? That's how, right? Okay, yeah. So, um, she won yeah. it and mm. I'm proud of her. I'm she really made proud of her. Yeah. I had a sleepless night because of Messi. Ah. Why? Because we went out to celebrate Messi's win. Oh, oh my God! God. 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 So, <laughs> I haven't slept all night, to be honest. So. Wow. So you went to the rich Messi and you didn't bother to just boss me like... He was in from two, now. you get... when As soon as he announced the win, I was with my cousin and then suddenly hmm. we were like, okay, let's go Okay. Out. I think the award is just excited yeah, for yeah, her. Yeah, I like yeah. that she's the first female winning yeah. this. Yeah, so that's like... I think um, she brought the pepper. pepper. She was a pepper. Yeah, she was a wee pepper. She played the real game. She gave us the game. So, I don't know, I'm so... So happy she won and she's so dramatic see the way she was jumping yeah and i love the um, friendship between her and uh, mike mm. and i mean congratulations i think she's the friendship outfit, with... though yeah <laughs> okay, let's really talk about Don Jazzy's reaction to this. He he said that um how did he put it again? Because I know it's touching you in a very special no, place. What, he said that Messi won blah blah. Um nobody should tell him that it's, it's not about uh, Okay, he's saying I know that Messi has a dope personality, but if she wins, nobody should tell me that in she does not perform wonders. <laughs> That's the backside basically, right? So mm. Ewa. <laughs> No, but and it's probably I know it's a joke, but I think I'm just tired of um seeing this. Well, type I want to categorically say that Jazzy was not joking, but he can come out tomorrow and say it's a joke. But I feel like this is not a joke, like it's just what it is, but go see, ahead. <laughs> whether or not um you want to see it as objectifying women and all that, because mm. that's where you're taking it to right mm. now. It's not everybody's about, just in their feelings. Yeah, it's not about objectifying it's women. A fact. It's the fact. <laughs> Like that I don't was see the real Pepe. No, no, like, no. Every so time, I, I, trust me, I, don't I hate to see her sit down. Well, 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 Big Brother was. 
I personally, you get me, right? I, I, I hate it. If, if I now, no, but I hate it. Hold when on, she maybe said. because that is why you voted for our people that are around you voted for. Uh -huh. I, me, I'm around people that genuinely voted for why? because of our role in the house, what was her character her and her attitude. Was the bad 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 of her character? But okay, these people that voted for her, I personally did not vote for Mercy because of her bum bum. Why did you vote for her? I voted for Mercy because of the game she was playing in the house. Oh, because of her was she playing? Because I'm telling you that that side of her body is part of her strategy in the house. I well, you can, I mean, there are other, other, um, other men that came into that, that have been winning Big Brother mm. and they've been like, Good looking, and I saw and I saw Dancia's response, and I think mm. even if she wanted to respond, she could have done it in a more intelligent way. What did like she, say? What did she, say? Um, she was saying, um, if it was a guy, would you say it was his um, private part mm. that? I mean, Mike yeah, did not what, flip out. No, there was no guy that flipped it out in the house. Really, everybody. For me, oh. I don't know, but I feel like what it might be coming out as a joke. But mm. I'm really tired of seeing all this kind of jokes. Oh. Oh. Mean, this is 2019. <laughs> doesn't make oh, sense. Man. You can see I'm in my feelings. Oh. That's what you say. Maybe you're right, but oh. I personally don't appreciate that tweet. I'm sure Thank Don Jazzy will take notes. He will, he will change. It does not even have to take notes. Uh -uh. So yeah. who do you want to take notes? No, I'm just saying how I feel about it. Okay. That's his own opinion, but well, I'm saying well, I, know, I, know, I know a lot of women, on the more serious note, a lot of women saw that as objectifying um, Minus me. a woman. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of women would say that, and they only get to pick and choose, but the fact will always be the fact. That was part of her strategy. That was why... I don't, I don't, and she I don't was using it to, well. She actually went, it's not like it's natural. <sighs> oh, she, Do you understand? So? Wait, relax. She went to fix that for a purpose. Because mm. she knew it would perform one. No, I mean, there are so many yeah. women that fix their And they fix it for a purpose. If, if it's, it's not really bad, they won't fix brother. it. It doesn't have to no, be she No, she I mean, if, one one if, I, if I'm going to fix my butt, I'll fix it because I want to look good. Not because of a show. So many people fix their butt. She fixed it before. Yeah, that's my... Before Big Brother. She didn't do this for Big Brother. Okay, that's when you're saying that there was a reason why she fixed it. No, I'm saying there was a reason. Yeah, but what if her reason is just to look good? Looking good is a strategy too. looking good is good business too. I mean, it's, it's serious, but that doesn't mean that people voted for her because of that. No, but she's saying, saying, because of that. That's I think what, that's what Don is just saying. saying. No, that's not what he's saying. I think what Don Jazzy was just trying to say is that, look, yeah, that um, she won quite all right. But, but it had a role. Yeah, that play. also had. She uh, won, she won. Fair because of her women, Let women win in peace. Ah. Yes. Okay, well, we are moving on Messi. from women winning <laughs> in Don't peace. Mind. Lamborghini Messi. Do you want to correct yourself? No. Okay. So, Emma Yabaga replies Vector on the Viper. So, this was one of the balls over the weekend. Mm. When I said my weekend was awesome, I think this also played a role in the awesomeness of I my know. weekend. You're right? very interested in this story. Ah, my dear. What if I... Uh... I think after this, Vector, she does on, she's on another career path. Oh, he said he's replying, no. Yeah, I'm so actually waiting for the reply. Because I think... He, he, he's going to reply. Mm -hmm. Have you seen the memes out there about him trying to reply? <laughs> have, 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 have you seen the hashtag trending? Uh, yeah, he's pastor's child or so. The pastor's child, that's the his own hashtag. The, yeah, but then on the same day, um, the Viper was trending, reply. MI was trending, Larry was trending. Did you, did you listen um, to... I mean, you dropped two distracts. MI on the table. Mm. And I didn't feel any of them, to be honest, because mm -hmm. it felt more like you were screaming. Like apart a from, secondary yeah, school apart job. From I mean, more, yeah, school like, but MI came in like, Said, uh, how will you, sorry to cut you, how will you still be dissing MI with his height at this age and time? Like, it's like still, it doesn't, it can't work anymore. He disses himself with his height. It's okay, but it's still short, sure. Eh, that's what we are saying, we know. It's just like you can't tell me that I'm short. I mean, I'm short. So? Yeah. Okay. Short. Well, I like the one particular line when he said, um, I'm happy my son is a taller than his father, mm. but that doesn't mean he won't do ballet. Mm. <laughs> you know, that line I think you like, like that line yeah, too. So I like all the lines. Not, yeah, yeah, all the lines <laughs> were iconic. Mm -hmm. They were well thought out. They were more like... Well constructed. Well, no, know? they were more like an advice to him. Like, mm. But is he really living in his girlfriend's BQ? Like Nobody cares. But I, I care. Um, it's part of well, the gist. Because there's a GoFundMe that was open to pay his rent. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> I, I, I can't say that for a fact. But for MI to say it, I don't think MI will say anything that he's, uh, not sure. he's not sure about. Mm -hmm. And then another thing that MI also said in this song that I picked up on and I actually thought about it. Who do you know since Vector has been very relevant for a long time? For a long time. Yeah. Who do you know that Vector has ever helped? 
that Vector has put on Or have come into the yeah. music industry and you say this person yeah, was following Vector. Yeah, came to Vector yeah. and all that. No, Vector hasn't done anything for, for anybody apart from himself. So, I don't know. I don't know. You, M.I. was the wrongest Even target. Even himself, he's still struggling now. He, ah, he said he's the, the best, <laughs> the biggest rapper in Nigeria. So, how is he struggling? M.I. was the wrong target. But man. we know. But I think after she gets. this, I you know, you know all the why um, um what's his name Vector was doing all this. I thought it was a joke. I thought it was publicity stunt. I thought yeah, I didn't know it was so serious actually. Until Emma dropped it, then like oh, Uncle calm this is down really now. Emma just serious. spoke to him. I don't think Emma even this thing. He spoke to him like a, a child. Little son, yeah, like, like he said. yeah, like a father to a son. And Emma said, um, according to him, in his, I read I think a chat with Special Special something, mm. and he said Vector has always been um, against him since the beginning of whatever. Mm. They've had, and he does not know why he's eating on him that much. I don't know why. Because when too. you feel you're the best rapper and you know there's somebody better than you, it's just, it's just. Um, I don't want to say it's natural, but if you are, a, you think he knows Emma is better than him? Of course, he should know. Then wh where is the place? If, where is if, the if you to try to struggle, why not try to come if you, to him, if, work if together? So much aware that Emma is um, bigger than him, why is he trying to struggle? If not, try to, like you said, collaborate with him and make... Sometimes it's jealousy, sometimes it's um, envy, sometimes it's um, anything. Mm. But whatever it is, Vector needs to go take a chill pill. His I'm fans are saying he's coming back. He should go waiting to, those, for what he's to MI's say. track again. MI's um, Viper track again. And I like the fact he used his name, no, Vector no. the Viper. No, someone even said he was just calling Larry, Larry. As if he was not a Christian, he was his name inside you. Larry. Larry. <laughs> Larry, like, I, I didn't even know his name was Larry. Me too. <laughs> I found out. Yeah, really, I'm not really bothered about them, but <laughs> let them keep entertaining us. Yeah, I mean, they said this is the hip hop. Um, yeah, this, okay. this is yeah. supposed to work, right? So let's yeah, enjoy but the at drama. Least, you know, you go for your. You find your mates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would like to see someone to um, not vector and want to take on MI, but then MI is so good and so accommodating that I don't think anybody in the industry wants to take on him. So maybe someone else should come out and also take on vector. Oh, so I think that a couple of people try when you drop down, you, um, you rapper should fix up your life. A mm. couple of people mm. try to Dis come him. for MI, but I don't Which was why the Mattel thing happened. Yeah. 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 So I think they, they were not just, no, MI is always going to be a god. The music he said, I swear by my name because there's no other high no authority. authority. <laughs> Listen, you, you, you pop All right, oh, it's time best. for a very quick break. But when we come back, we have one more story to discuss. We'll be right back. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child at the scene every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times I worry more about where I'm coming from mm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Right now? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do everybody feeling all right. Bye. That was how they look myself, minimal are you? Mm. Akpala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, woo! <laughs> Welcome back. Our last story for conversation is an actor, Aremu Afalayo, who speaks on dating older women. He said, and I quote, I'm a businessman and you can actually refer to me as a prostitute in business. I sell cars, clothes, wristwatches, and many other things. Dating someone older than one is different from someone older than one's, um, someone older paying one's bill. I don't think there's anything wrong in dating or marrying someone older than one. Yeah, so mm -hmm. I think people came at him for always dating older women. I think that's his preference, right? Mm -hmm. And um, he's defending that to say, I have my money. I'm not... I'm not, not dating them for their money. Mm -hmm. I mean, they are not paying my bills. I'm just dating older for women. Love. So I don't know if it's love or what. That's what I was trying to say. Like, <laughs> it's well, not dating yeah, them for money. I feel him, though. There's this general um, perception that once a guy is dating an older woman, she has to be richer than him. Because mm -hmm. there are a lot of younger guys that are dating older women yeah. that are not even as success half as successful as those men. Mm -hmm. But they're still very much in love. and. 
I think it's all about love. It's who, it's where you find love. It, mm. Age is nothing but a number. You're compatible with. Yeah, so I think um, I agree with him. And in his line of work, like all the things he just listed, there's no way you'll not be meeting women. Mm. And women like such men. Like when they see you're very ambitious, you know, you sell to them all the time. Before you know it, you're beginning to ask, who will you go and sell to? Is it not somebody that can afford it? <laughs> so you go sell to somebody that can afford it. So it's only natural that you meet older women because the young girls, right, time you tell them that this thing is 50,000, they say, ah, you're not collect 25. But, <laughs> but, but, you know the older women, they just be like, ah, they know the what, they, they know the, they, they know what it is, so. I think it makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, 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 the way I, you're saying it, like. I like older women, too. Oh, you oh, and Aremu, yeah. you're on I the like, same. I like older women, but. They're in the same WhatsApp group. Yeah. <laughs> but not married women, though. Ah. Women. You are the one bringing, like, my mind is not even good. Yeah, I don't honestly, understand. This, no, that came from women. guilty conscience. <laughs> if I eat that to the married no, woman. No, 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 I would never date a married woman. Because they'll do the same to my wife. Oh. oh. <laughs> 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 no, yeah, I think I agree. I would agree with everything if I said so. Mm -hmm. And it's not just even about, um, it's not about the male gender, it's for the two. Mm. Because if, if, if they see any young girl dating an older man, so they mm -hmm. say she's doing it for money. money. I do, I'm, I'm not, I don't know, some people do it for money. Yeah, but, but sometimes these older men understand you better, like, they yeah, are just right. so matured. So, I mean, a lot of people date older. I don't think there should be any problem. Like, are person, you saying that from experience? Yes, I am, actually. Oh. Uh, well. Yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> you didn't expect me to be so sincere, right? But yeah, that's the truth. They just, I mean... Mm, they are more understanding. <sighs> Let me close my mouth. Please go ahead. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it felt like, like if I said, we find love anywhere. So anywhere love happens, please just let it happen. Mm. Mm. All right. So like they have said, we find love everywhere and um, let's love lead. That's how we wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you so much for watching. I remember you can be part of this conversation by using the hashtag tea time on social media or tweeting at us at plus tv africa you can also watch our exclusive content on youtube by subscribing to our youtube channel at plus tv africa also you can watch tea time in london on ben television my thank you as always to go to michael and course ewa ritu and if you and the entire production team my name is elsie godwin saying thank you for watching and see you soon